So I've made a lot of progress on my front subframe, I think as you can see. Previous videos I showed you about the A-arms. They are now complete. Uh, they're tacked in, I need to, to burn them in. The bottom one is burned in already, the top ones need to be uh, burned in. All the adjustments, all the attachments, and this main section in the middle I've got done here as well. This is gonna be a cantilevered setup where you've got springs in the middle, so they are not showing outside here. And then as you come down in this area, it clamps to the lower A-arm, and that's why this piece is so heavy, because it's gonna be taking the force of the spring. Now this uh, is, uh, isn't, isn't welded up yet, but uh, it'll be strong when it is. There's a whole sleeve that goes on here. There'll also be a brace that goes out this way, um, and two big 3 8 um, set screws set in underneath here. And that's to ensure you've got plenty of grip. Now there is still a lot of force in that joint. Plan B is, is I could just always put a brace from here out to here. There's room to do that, no problem. I'm gonna try not to do that though, just for aesthetic reasons. So back on the cantilevered springs, these are the, uh, the coilovers that came from the, the donor Raptor. Um, and they're set in place. Now these were a little bit different than stock. Uh, the previous owner had upgraded to these, uh, but still the same dimensions, uh, more or less as the stocks. You can see in here, I've actually got a brace here that's actually bolted in right now. Now, the way this thing was sprung before, it had quite a bit of angle uh, between uh, the, the coil over and the, and the A-arm before. In terms of angle, I mean, it was not at a 90. It was more like a 30 degree. I mean, really a lot. And then it went to close to 90 as uh, the uh, suspension compressed, which of course is progressive, gave you more um, leverage. Um, so it gets stiffer if it went down. This is starting at square. It's going to be more or less square all the way through. Um, but since I'm going also for, uh, to a square type, when I say square, I'm talking about this angle here, this angle. Um, so the, the spring is actually much more effective. So I don't actually know how long this lever arm should be. So I took a guess about where it should be, leaving it a little long, because the further you put it out, the stiffer the suspension is. So as, once I get this, the, the car finally together and get it on the road and get a sense of whether it's too stiff or hopefully not too soft, um, then I can adjust this up and down. That's why it's bolted in right now. The final thought is that um, I may end up still using these brackets, but certainly weld them in because this will not last in the long term. The bolts will loosen up. Okay, so there it is, our cantilevered system. As you can see, it's, it took me actually quite a while to get this done. It was like fitting uh, 10 pounds of potatoes into a five pound sack, but there it is. And uh, it's, it's all set to go.